What's going on you guys? It's your boy Lloyd here. So I got a question from a viewer and he writes, Hi Lloyd, I'd like some advice. There is this girl at my work. We were very close. She would want to be around me and talk to me a lot. But about a month ago, that all changed. She suddenly stopped messaging me and when she did, the conversations would get shorter and shorter. She ignores me and ghosts me. It seems that she doesn't want me as much. Is there anything I can do to make her want me as much as she did in the beginning? If so, what can I do? P.S. I love the advice you give on the channel. Keep it up, man. Smiley face. All right, so <laughs> let's answer this guy's question. So uh, he gave me no details whatsoever about the situation. So I gotta answer this basically in general terms, which I think is fine for a video like this because we've all been there. We've all been there with a girl who you and you were talking to and at first she was really interested in you, she wants to be around you, you know, she's paying attention to what you're saying, she responds quickly, um, and then she starts to uh, not do that anymore. She started, her responses start to fade out slowly and slowly, uh, and then eventually you don't really hear from her anymore, okay? Um, why did this person lose attraction for you, okay? And what can you do to try and get her back? So, uh, generally, I would, th I would say for a lot of situations like this, if a girl is attracted to you for a certain circumstance, and then that circumstance changes, something changes, then, you know, her attraction for you might also change, okay? Um, for instance, if you are a guy who is, let's say you're a bartender, okay, or you're like, um, the head of a restaurant, okay? So, in that restaurant, you're probably a pretty attractive person. You know, people can see you doing your thing, you're in an authoritative position. That's a great position to be in for a guy, especially. Um, people are going to be more attracted to you. Now, let's say you come out of that restaurant and then you end up in a, I don't know, she starts hanging out with you on a golf course and you've never golfed in your life before, okay? So you're not showing as much competency doing this. You're a little awkward with the way that you're carrying things. You don't know people there. So you're probably going to be less attractive in that environment. Now, a lot of girls will remember the guy that you are in that restaurant and still be attracted to. Um, but some of them, if the attraction isn't enough at that time or they're kind of fickle or they were just in you at the moment, um, then their attraction for you is not going to be that high and, and now they're, they're not really that into you. Okay, so these situations happen a lot in different areas. So if she saw you in a certain light or maybe had an idea about you and that idea changed, then she's probably not going to be as into you uh, as she was before. Okay, so how do you get her back? The idea would be to get her to see you in that light again. Um, or maybe put yourself in a position where you're going to be looking um, more like the guy that she met and when she was into you, okay? But a lot of guys will do this, and the problem about this is that I would advise against going for women that lose attraction for you that quick. And the truth is, is that I'm covering the stuff that you can control. There's a lot of aspects in this, a lot of the way women work, um, that make them kind of in and out. You know, sometimes they're hot, sometimes they're cold. Um, you know, with these women are fine if you maybe just want to hook up with them. I've <laughs> hooked up with plenty of those kinds of women. Uh, but I would say in general, even in those situations, a lot of times they're more trouble than they're worth, okay? So you want someone who's gonna be more consistently into you, that's just gonna make your life more easier. Like if a girl's being hot cold with me, I, I usually don't try and play that game with her. And you and normally trying to play that game where, okay, now you're trying to win her back and trying to impress her, actually pushes her farther and farther away. So, I think you should just go back and, and do what you do best, man, okay? Um, you don't try and you know force yourself to act a certain way to try and win her over, because again, that's just gonna push her more and more away. Um, and, and you don't really know what happened, too. Uh, sometimes, maybe she was talking to another guy and things got serious, and she only wants to talk to one guy. Usually, if uh, you know things are going well with a guy, women kind of, they stop talking to the other guys that they're talking to. Uh, maybe she's just going through a weird mood or something like that. Um, I don't know, okay? There's a lot of things that can happen that are outside of your control that you don't know about and you reacting to those kinds of things um, you know being super reactive is not leading that's that's following okay so I always talk about this on this channel if you're the man in general the man to woman connection is you lead and she follows and she can decide if she doesn't want to follow you uh, at any point in time and you have to be okay with that as a man but if you start to, okay, well now she's not following me, now I gotta follow her and win her back, that's not how it works, okay? She's not gonna be sexually attracted to you if you do that. She's gonna lose attraction for you even more, okay? So I wouldn't go after and start chasing her a whole bunch. 
I would still kind of maybe be flirtatious with her, playful with her. You want to show a little bit of interest still, but keep doing what you're doing and keep improving yourself. Keep putting yourself first. Those kinds of things, I think, after a certain period of time, a lot of girls will come around. And if they don't do, you have to have the power in your own mind to be okay with that and walk away. You know, this is something I talk a lot about on my channel, or sorry, a lot about in my programs. So it's typically guys who fall into this trap are maybe, the, maybe let's say we teach a guy to, uh, talk to talk to women in bars very well. Okay, so he learns that. Now he's very attractive in bars and clubs. Um, but once the girl starts dating him for a little bit, then they realize his lifestyle isn't very good. Um, you know, maybe he's got a mattress on the floor or something like that, and he just doesn't have a lot of cool friends or whatever. He just doesn't have a very interesting life. So his lifestyle is lacking, and so she loses attraction for him when she realizes the guy who she, who she thought he was isn't so much uh, what he does on a regular basis. He's only like that in that environment. Um, so you need to have everything. And what I teach my students is to have all the different aspects, you know, your lifestyle, you know, being, uh, being attractive, uh, and then also to having a confident mindset as well. All of these three, three things together basically are going to make you into the complete package and you're going to encounter this a lot less. Um, but like I said, you guys, you can't predict what's going to happen and you trying to micromanage these situations a lot of times will push the girl farther and farther away. So have those three aspects handled. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Show interest, but don't chase. Um, and then I think a lot of times those girls will come around and if they don't, dude, you got to be okay with them not coming around because this happens all the time. Like women, especially the young ones, will be very, very fickle. And if you start playing their game you're gonna get off your purpose you're gonna get off yourself as a man that's not a masculine thing to do okay so hopefully this helps you guys if you made it and consider subscribing i come out with videos like this every single week if you're interested in getting coached by me personally there's a form down below click on the link right there fill out the form and if you're a great fit we'll get back to you thanks a lot you guys good luck out there